Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room, she looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Gorster. No window, no way out. How long has she been in the family? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. Yeah. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> And I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into uh, the hideous, warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman in a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. think about the yellow box, Ellen. Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? No, no, don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. Careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money? And no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? Have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you? To torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. 
Nimdok. How are things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> or don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, eh, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Hey guys, we're here and we are playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream and I've been trying to play this for a while uh, but I never found a good enough reason to but I just thought to myself, sure why not, let's fucking do it. I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For a hundred and nine years, I've kept you alive, so that I could savor your feelings of guilt for what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. Well, what hell hole did that godless machine put me in this time? So we have started off Gorster. Ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard, and into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. I know, I know a good, uh, I know a good bit about this game. The only thing I haven't figured out is what hotkey is what fucking thing. I know do use walk. T is talk to. I don't know what take is then. L is look at. U is use. I haven't a fucking clue what half these things are. Look at the be bed. Look at Real the bed. Hospitable of you, Am. Threadbare, cockroach infested, grease stained accommodations. So we Too are cloudy. I can't see a damn thing. We are on an airship, just soaring through the sky. Cause this hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. Cause we gotta start somewhere, don't we? There's a note down here. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. Not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Hey, it disappeared. <laughs> what kind of game is Am playing this time? So, uh, I decided I'd start with... With Gorestor? Gorestor? What fucking is that I've even? Seen anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. So, um, because he's kind of the more non-linear of a lot of the people in this. Oh yeah. Let's use use. And I know where to go, so this is basically just a walkthrough instead of a let's play. So, uh, we need to... Never figure out what that fucking hockey is. If only there was like a scroll wheel or something. There's a book over here. My name's printed on the front of this book. And it does nothing, as far as I remember. Why, this book is little more than a pile of dust. Yep. <laughs> so we're Gora Star. Gora Star, what the fuck is wrong with me? Seriously. Gora Star. Uh, Everything's coated with he's, brown. um, he's obviously rife with the loss of his wife. Where's the crew? Uh, he's oh, suicidal, dear. and generally seems like he's having not a good time. If I'm Sleep. honest, to dream about her again. Fine, take it. Jesus Christ! Nope, I keep pressing T, thinking that's take. There we go. So we got the. Uh, 
two rags we need. The mirror is of no use and there is nothing else here. <laughs> so I've um Oh yeah, I can't fucking go in that door. My stomach's growling. <sighs> I read uh, the short story of this. Harlan Ellis plays Am in this game. The crew. And alone here. Is there anything here? Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There's something hard under the pillow. I don't know what to do with this. Fucking this took me a while. I, I was like, use the pillow. Done. Surely. It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. But it's take. It's take on the pillow. Um so I read the short story, there's a lot of different things in this compared Stomach's to uh gone. There's a lot of blood on that door, I've just noticed. Filthy, like the rest of this cisp. Uh what's in this room? Oh where are you going? Someone sure trashed this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. Uh so there is a ball of punch here, we will not use it. Because it is poison. It oh. stinks in here. Well, uh, I didn't. I, I don't know where I thought it was going to be. So there's a few things here. There's a bunch of rats, as you can see. But we need to take this knife. And if you didn't notice, this little bullshit fork down here. I was lost forever trying to find that fucking fork. You would not believe. Use the knife on the rats. <laughs> Great animation. That scared them away. So uh you probably wonder to yourself like the whole the whole aim of this game is for everyone uh to kill themselves or to die and you'd wonder like use this knife but the reason they can't is because Am um, will just bring them back to life. They've got to do I'm no longer hungry, what he wants but I still feel or he will bring them back and back and just fuck with them the whole time. An old cookbook. Use the cookbook. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? <laughs> not a uh, not a milk of human kindness cutting guy, are you, Gorster? So, what is around here? The brie. And there's vomit on the floor by the looks like of it. Knocked over in the fight. There's blood here, and God knows what else. Yeah, vomit stain. Vomit stains near the punch bowl. So let's get out of here. And if you go down here, I know there's a lot of bullshit in this fucking game. <laughs> smells like piss, rotting meat. So you see these things? These poor creatures' brains are feeding electricity to the engines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it pains me to do it, but. There's the milk of human kindness. I think that's what. I'm pretty sure this is what the milk is. Because it says milky fluid. So, uh. Sorry I had to do this. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Yeah, but. You got a key. I've got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. So there's a little thing you can do. Filthy, like the rest of Fucking... Oh, it's been a while since I've played any adventure game. Like, I just did it there again. While I'm complaining about this mechanic. So, you can use the tablecloth. I've washed my hands of the past. Yep. Fucking do it right after you fucking injure all the animals. I don't know if you'd notice, but this down here changes color and gets brighter and brighter. And he starts smiling, and it's fucking horrifying to look at because it's pretty much the same smile for all of them, and it's horrifying. <laughs> Use the fork. Fucking come on. Use the fork on the engine. 
metal on the fork short circuited the engine wiring. And let's go around this way. Fucking <laughs> some Geiger esque bullshit right there. It's less penises It'll than a Geiger. Arrest. Work. Should have gone the other way. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> So, um, what we need to do is get down off this airship. Big gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Yep. And we use these knives on the airbag. Gas is rushing out. And the trick to this is to do it twice. And not more, feels because you'll fucking blow up the hot air balloon. <laughs> the only thing you have to use it on as well is this stitching. And let's go outside. We're approaching some kind of building. No, we're landing. It's a honky tonk. I don't know what that means. So we use this sheet with this sheet. These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. And because of that, we can get this little that dangly here. Wired up like some kind of weird guidance system. And when I'm in control, I'm not gonna like where it's taking me. My heart, apparently. So now we can go and take my heart. <laughs> Fucking. Way to walk. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Deep. So take the rope back. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, is there anything else we need to do in the hot air balloon? I do. Landed. But where? I do not believe so. So, let's go down. And we're going to enter a world full of Ridley bullshit. Some roadside honky-tonk with my name on it. Hmm. Interesting. Not really. Uh, use on the door. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. There's a bunch of shit here. So, apparently I owned this bar. I'm gonna be honest, I don't fully understand or grasp Gorster's fucking Gorster's uh, story. It's kind of confusing. Cracked linoleum, broken <laughs> fixtures, disgusting. Some graffiti here. Graffiti. A monster is not alone in the world, it has friends. You think, see this thing here? You think this thing here would be useful, wouldn't you? It's Completely crazy. wrong. It looks like something that could be moved because it's got kind of it's got a different coloring to everything else here. It can't be used, which is bullshit. So, what you have to do here is uh, is play some music. He took my baby away, then just about killed her. That stupid truck driver. He took my baby away. That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, my mother-in-law. What a toe tapper. Don't blame me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, you did sign the paper, so like. And this one. You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. I commit a woman who sounded like that. I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. And that is. Everything the other two fucking useless songs. Don't bother with them. Well, Gorister, you've seen better days. So is the big machine, for that matter. Do you mind? Now here, here's another bullshit thing. See these trash cans? There's a shovel right there. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. I fucking played this game. Take the shovel. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. Listen, dog. I'd like to know where all the bodies are buried. Listen, I don't need bullshit from you, dog. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One of them, at least. 
No. What are you really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a Chinaman. That is not a riddle. Your am playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Um. Why can't you give me a straight answer? <laughs> like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. Oh, fucking riddling bastards. Curses to bear. Hey, Gorister. Apparently that jackal was an asshole because all he does is talk in riddles. Yeah. What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I think you'd have a gut instinct by now. See, that's a riddle there. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. Um... That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart <laughs> mouth. Come, come fucking, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Fucking punch that jackal in the face. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. I'm not going to give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Um, we've got no other choice, so we'll give the heart to him. <sighs> I think I'll save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Go to the restroom and flush three times. Um I've got okay. more to say to you. So let's go back. That's oh. his husband, Harry. What's cracking, you old Harry bastard? Looks like he's on another one of his drinking binges. Let's talk. I did not want to use the restroom. Let's talk to Harry. Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. So, he is a drunk asshole. So, what you need to do is pour him a drink. drink. That is the only way you can get I shit out of him. The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the Zeppelin. Apparently he has problems we talking as well. You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? Oh, what? <laughs> Just where is my dear mother-in-law? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Fucking drunk. Let's give him another drink. A drink. And just where is my dear mother-in-law? I don't know. Good God, I, I can't stand the sight of her anymore. Can you imagine being kept alive for 109 years just to hear her carping? <laughs> Apparently carping means bitching. I didn't know that. Um... Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? That's pretty much all we. That's pretty much all we need to know about him. And here is what this puzzle means when he said, "Have you not taken a leak yet?" The fucking magnifying glass in there. So let's not take the urinal. Let's take the magnifier. <laughs> That is a bullshit puzzle. We're gonna come back and do this toilet flushing thing. Nope, stop. Not that way. This way. <laughs> We're gonna go up first and have a look at what happened. Oh, not in there. I'm just fucking bullshitting around right now. 
filthy. Like the Oh god damn it. So magnifying glass, you're up here. Use magnifying glass with the debris. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. Yep. Sons of bitches tried to kill me. So, let Come on. Let's confront this old bastard about it. Like, you tried to kill me, you bitch. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. When the poison took effect, I cut you open. Let's give him a drink, because he's probably gone all senile and old. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Talk to you later. Okay. Everything's good. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Okay, so we have to go in here and flush three times. There's some graffiti there too. What does this graffiti say? Graffiti. Flush again next time, please. Okay, so let's flush again. You gotta listen to the graffiti. I mean, I always, I always phone up those numbers that are on the walls. Cause I want a good time. If I'm in Vegas. I don't know what's good in Vegas. Oh, locker. How'd I get bodies on meat hooks? Am you bastard? What have you done? So that's Glennis. What has Am done to you, honey? So that's my wife, who is batshit insane, and that is my that's Edna, my mother-in-law. Yep. No, this is too good to be true. <laughs> An asshole. Fucking talk to Edna. First words to her, Edna, you bitch. It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of Am. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorister? We're family, after all. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Sure, now she wants help. Um... Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. I don't know who the other one is, but I'm guessing the Jackal is the other comrade. It's also weird that they say comrade. Let's take her down. You truck-driving son of a bitch! God damn it. Let me go. I've got you now, Gorister. And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some <clears throat> thinking to do. Uh. Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Gorister. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. No, I don't trust you. Gorister, let me down or I'll scratch your eyes out, you worthless excuse for a man! Edna, you dropped a key. Hand me back that key and let me down! I'm your <laughs> hope of getting out of here! Sorry, Edna. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Let me prove my good intentions. I'll let you go. Now give me the key. Nope. Lol, nope. Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out! I'm taking you with me, Edna. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, it is there. Let's put her in my pocket. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, um. I'll come back for her later, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, dude, got your wife? BRB. 
Let's go up the ladder. Uh, so the key is for over here. This room I I was avoiding. This one here. You probably noticed I don't, I'm not using the bloody key. I don't think there is proper use for it. <laughs> it's more of a morality choice than anything else. Controls. So this is like the control room, and there is a logbook. Wrote this logbook. So let's have a read of it. than me but am did he hated all of us if i can just deliver gorister's soul on a platter i can make amends for every minute of Gorister's life i took from her i never meant to drive her crazy i'll be damned edna's claimed responsibility for glennis maybe it wasn't my fault <laughs> after all the fucking green glint there is hilarious i thought i could do what am wants but he's too precise. Look at that smile, it's fucking terrible. But I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. That's it. So, she fucking murdered me to power herself out of the storm and get the fuck out of Dodge so you know people just fucking other people over that's pretty much what this game is about <laughs> uh, so let's use the restroom we'll go back in luckily we don't have to do this whole flushing three times business it's just once and we're there. So... Glennis. Uh, so what we have to do is use... No! No! Stuff, but I feel stronger. Motherfucker. Um... Give... The milk to Glennis. This fluid should revive you. Look at how shocked he is fucking down here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Glennis, all these years, and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. At least I finally made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. Okay, so now... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I almost forgot. There is another reason to, uh, to be in here. A quality too. Ham's never given us something this good to eat before. Something's wrong here. Yeah, the reason we need it is for its lovely, lovely oh, yes. heart. The rest of this carcass is frozen what? What? I'm supposed to fucking use the knife with the beef. No use. What the fuck? The rest of this carcass is frozen solid. Is there something else? Huh. Hmm. What could I be missing? Give me one second. Everything's coated. I'm an idiot. Fucking used magnifier with the beef. The organs are still inside. Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Poor Benny. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. Benny's got like the worst of any to any of these people, really. He's gonna keep torturing us forever. Like, if you read the story, there is some fucked up shit that happens to Benny. One heart looks like another. Apparently now it's fucking good enough to cut open. This bullshit. Fucking Gorister. 
So, use the door. There we go. So, talk to the jackal. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. Ooh. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. So, oh, um... So we just give him the beef heart. <laughs> he doesn't know, he's just a stupid owl jackal. Uh, this is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. The pass. Um... I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? We must make amends and bury the past, Forrester. I've got nothing more to say to you. So, what we have to do to bury the past is to literally bury the past. <laughs> and we put Glynis in there. Now that we've come to dealing with what, we've, what has happened. Um, so how do I get whoa, out of here? I'm so happy there in the corner. But it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. I've made amends and buried the past. An excellent job, Gorister. But the thunderstorm is upon us. You'd better hurry if you want to recharge your old ticker's battery. Fuck, fuck, you. fuck you, I'll never see you again. We're about to leave. <laughs> and he's just gonna be stuck here, like, we're just done with him. He can go fuck himself. So, what we need to do, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, we go over here, to this fucking Geiger robot, and we use Edna's body with it. <laughs> Boom. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. Yep, we needed an organ besides our own. Uh, and now I've done it again. <laughs> Let's go over. And we need to go back upstairs. So, what we'll be doing here is press the switch. Or fill every bags are inflating. Yep. Uh I don't think I need to use it anymore. Airbags are already Uh Yep. And we're out of here pretty much. If memory serves me right. Over here. Back into the uh it's locked. I need to use the key again. <laughs> and we use this little lever here. Push the switch. And we're up in the air. Yes. We're taking off. No, I'm sure we are. So I think what we need to do go up here. I think. I'm kind of stuck. Not, not, not really stuck. Oh yes! Pick up this gun, and apparently it becomes a flare. Don't know what happened to me there. Yeah, apparently it just became a flare gun. <laughs> and we're out. Here's a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. 